Hi there, welcome to my desk slash setup tour. This is going to be a really interesting video because I have many cool gadgets and stuff on my desk that I want to show you. And we're gonna sort of start from this left side and go towards that right side. So first I have this dual monitor setup. And here on the left side, I'm using a computer monitor, but here in the center, I'm using this big 40 inch TV. You might be wondering why would I use a TV instead of a computer monitor? Well, that's because Unlike many people, I don't use an office or gaming chair. Instead, I have a sofa here. So because of that, uh, using a big screen like this is really immersive when I'm further away from the computer and it's very comfortable for me. Now, it might not work for some people, but it works absolutely amazing for me. Next, I have a lot of gadgets here. Let's start with this first one. Now, this usually isn't here on my desk, but I wanted to cover this. Now, I don't use this to film videos. Uh, instead, I use this as a toy. So I didn't plug a phone into this controller. And then I just fly my drone closer where I can see it and it works as a toy. So it's really amazing and it's really fun to sort of fly this like that. So this is DJI's Mavic Mini 2 drone and I really like flying this. Next I have my headsets. So these are Logitech G733. These are really good looking headsets if I take them off here. So here you can see and these are like really beautiful looking headsets. But there are a few annoying things about it. So if you're going to get headsets, I wouldn't recommend these because first, if you wear glasses, you can see that it, these headsets have these sort of RGB lights on the front. So these reflect off of your glasses and it becomes really annoying. And the bad thing about that is that you can't turn them off from any button here on the headset. Instead, you have to keep Logitech software running on your computer all the time in the background. So if you use multiple computers or if you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation, then it becomes really annoying. So if I turn on the headset, you can see these are the lights. Now currently these are turned off because I'm running the Logitech software on my computer. And another bad thing about this is that when I got them, it didn't have Bluetooth. So because of that, if you use multiple devices like a laptop or a computer uh, and you switch between them over and over again, then it becomes really annoying moving that dongle between the devices. And you can't use these with uh, mobile phones. So if you have a phone, you can't use these. So I thought it might not be a big deal, but now I sort of regret getting a headset that doesn't have Bluetooth. Next, I have my water bottles. Now you might be wondering why do I have two bottles on my desk? Well, uh, that's because I'm having a hard time deciding between the two. So I'm really curious, uh, if you had an option to pick between these two bottles, which one would you go for? This one is more of a retro style. And then this one is more of a modern style. So it has more of a modern look to it. And then this one also has a temperature sensor. You can see the temperature of the water. Next, I have my phone holder. Currently, I'm shooting with my phone. It's iPhone 13 Pro Max, but it usually sits here and I just look towards my phone and it unlocks and then I can interact with it very easily. So it's really easy to just put it here. Then I have my keyboard. You might have seen it from the unboxing video. Now, this keyboard is Keychron K10 Mechanical Wireless Keyboard. It's really satisfying to game on and type and it has a great battery life and I've changed the keycaps. Next, I have my mouse, that's Logitech MX Master 3S. Now, the reason I got this mouse was that it has amazing battery life, so you have to like charge it once every few months. And then it has additional features, like you have the scroll wheel on the side, which can be used to control volume on the computer, or you can also customize it if you want to. And then it also has this magnetic scroll wheel, which can be used to scroll multiple lines, like thousands of lines per second. Then behind that, I have my Stream Deck, now, the reason I got this is that it makes it very easy to open or launch apps and it looks really beautiful on the desk. So you can see everything is animated. And then behind that, I have a car reader. So I often need to access data from cars and because of that, I have that here. Then I have my TV remote. So I just press this button to turn the TV on and off. So it just sits there. Then I have my Xbox Series X controller. Now I don't have the console itself. Last time when I had a console, it was Xbox 360. Since then I'm using a computer, but I play platformer games like Try and 4 and those kinds of games. So it's really fun to play with this controller. And because of that, I have this. Then I have a pen for a drawing tablet. Uh, I got this drawing tablet to learn drawing. I didn't want to draw anything hyper-realistic, but I never got to sort of use it. I just drew a few images and I practiced like for 10 days and then it's been sitting on my desk since then. So it's over there. And that sort of covers everything on this side of the desk. Here I have a laptop. So when I was getting this laptop, it was back in 2020. And at the time, I wanted to get a MacBook, but there were a few problems with MacBooks. First, MacBooks are like really tiny, the Air series. 
So it's 13 inch and I wanted a big screen laptop. So this one has 16 inch screen. So first reason was that. And on top of that, my MacBook also doesn't have touch screen. And that was sort of a deal breaker for me because I wanted to get a laptop that had a touch screen. So because of that, I got this laptop. Now it can handle everything that I want to do every day on a laptop. And for more heavy things, I can just use my computer. And also here in this Empire State Building, I have something really special. So I have this tiny guy and he watches over all of my stuff. And he can just sit there like that. Also, my computer is down there. So it used to be up on the desk, but then I ran out of space and I had to move it down. It has RGB lighting and stuff, but because it's sort of down there and I can't see that. And if I open this drawer here, so you can see this is Sony A6400 camera. And on top of it, you can see that I have this mic attached. So this is Rode Wireless Go 2. The reason I got this mic was that I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw a guy making a review of this. So he was like 400 feet away from the camera and it was still working. And because of that, I got it, but I never got to use it. So it just it's in this drawer. So that sort of wraps up my entire desk. And also, I almost forgot, so here I have a Rode PSC1 uh, boom arm for my microphone. And that's my mic that I used to advise over some of my videos. So that's Blue Yeti. This was one of my first tech purchases. And it's like, it was like many, many years ago. So that sort of wraps up everything on my desk. I hope you enjoyed it and found something interesting on the desk. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.